it's cool in here. What are we doing outside? We guys just living the life of Riley. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta get something done with this floor soon. As soon as I get the walls on, we'll get you a floor in here. Cardboard works for now. I got lots of cardboard going on them. Yeah, they're happy. They're so cool. You're cold, boy. You're cold. All right. Yeah, they're happy puppies, and man, they are eating really good now. That made a big difference in their appetites. The dogs don't eat much when it gets hot. Yeah. All right, guys. You turn your light back out. I'm going to go back out here, okay? Yeah, it's a shiny room. It's a very shiny room. <laughs> Man, I think a black light in here with that stuff would be cool. Put some color posters on the wall. Yeah. What do you think? All right, guys. Go on. We're going to eat in about an hour. Oh, and this area is messy again. Man. But not too bad i can pick it up pretty quick all right so didn't do any work today didn't do any work yesterday uh really about all we got left to do in here is cover this up and it's probably going to be t111 don't know but this will be what I, we're going to have two days of cool temperatures when i say cool i mean 84 85 that's far cry than what it's been so I want to get this door cut in, get this door hung, and it's going to go, I can't go right against this wall, right at the end of this hole that I got cut through there to run my electric, uh, 36 inches from over this way. And that's gonna give me enough room there to lay trim out and all that. And that will be a good opportunity to finish this roof, get it all screwed down, get the smaller, roof that I need to do over there hooked up and then I'm just going to cut this hole out for the door get it done finish this all out finish that up I've got out indoor outdoor carpeting coming for this but before I lay that down I want to make sure everything's secure in here uh, it's going to be pretty cool now I got to get a ceiling fan so I'm looking for a low profile it's going to have to go about as far up here as I can get it. I've actually got the one I need in my house if I can find it again. So I don't know. I'm gonna look at other options for that. It definitely needs a, a ceiling fan in here to move the air. Uh, I didn't get anything done in here today because I had to spend today mo this morning mowing. And this grass was a jungle. Look at all the mess I got out here to clean up. So. I'm going to try to get this taken care of in the next couple days and make some real progress on that. <sighs> Somebody was asking about these Mexibels. Yes, they are. They, they actually burn your mouth a little bit. Very tasty. Very tasty. What is this growing in here? I don't know. Collard greens. I think I missed the boat on that one. Let's go through the garden again real quick. See if anything new has developed. Boy, that sage and basil took off there. Got some flowers coming out of that. I don't know if that's coming out of the eggplant or those are wildflowers. Oh, I think I see a squash. Yeah, there's a ripe cucumber. Come get that later. I don't know what's going on in here. Them all fizzled out down there, but I do got one here. Give that another day picket. Uh, looks like the okra's taking off. Yep. Got a big old okra there. You don't want to get let those get too big. Yeah, I'm going to pop that one off there when I water tonight. And the basil's flowering. That tomatillo's really going nuts. I got to get in here with a weed eater. I weed eat it till about noon. Uh, I want to show you something guys. I wasn't sure how these potatoes would do in these containers And they are ready to harvest. Look there And I've even got them coming out the top So I'm just curious to see 
if we got any potatoes in here so that's something I'll probably do later today and we got cucumbers going it's actually overcast today looks like it's supposed to storm a little but I don't know if it will <sighs> tomatoes all right it's been so hot I think things just haven't grown as much as they should have these are doing very well here. Wow, there's a big one in there. Look at the size of that dude. Yeah, these look at these. I gotta get this cut. I'm gonna step on a rattlesnake. Oh yeah, we're still getting peppers like crazy. I gotta get these some of these picked off. Uh, I don't want them to struggle. I mean, they're not as huge as the ones you're gonna get in the grocery store, but they're good enough for me. Romas are just going crazy. Yeah. All right. I just thought I'd throw a little, little garden video, show you some progress. Uh, I see I need to get up on that, and finish that roof. That little strip where the two roofs meet, that's also gonna be metal roofing. So that's gonna be green. You won't see that teal 111 and flashing. I, I did a terrible job on that flashing because it was hot when I was on that road. I want it off. And then we'll get the trim going. Ooh, the dogs even get to come out for a little bit. Look at this jungle. I got a lot of weed eating to do. But I did get the lawn mowed. A couple hours this morning. Yeah. Well, oh, I've never let this fence get this bad, but. You know what? I had to sacrifice some things to get this build done. Uh, that could be taken care of in a couple of days. No big trouble. But yeah, this grass was tall. Man. It was tall. And I forgot to do the dog yard. Not no biggie because they ain't been out in it much. They got their little trails cut alongside the yard there. I think that's the biggest milkweed I've ever grown, man. That dude's cool. It's a milkweed. You hit those with a weed eater, you get a big old splash in the face. Look at that thing. All right, wind's coming from the northwest. Mr. Wind, windmill Dog tells me right there. Oh, he got another milkweed. Waldo, he likes to get in them things and scratch on them. I did get Rooster's Yard cut. <sighs> yeah, looks good when it's cut. Smells good. And then I got this mess. Yeah, we got some weed eating to do, guys. I have not. I usually cut all the weeds in the back uh, once in May. Then I hit it again in July, and then another time maybe in the end of September. And it's usually good for the winter, but I haven't even done it in May this year. <clears throat> we'll take a look at it. Oh, I see Mr. Waddles is out. Fire ants. Oh, it's a mess here. I'm going to try to get out here the next couple days and get this knocked down. You know, it's what do I do? Do I do the yard work or do I work on the build? I think the build's just about at a point where I can pull off of it uh, once I get that roof on there and uh, I'm good for a while. But yeah, I gotta, I, gotta get, I gotta get hopping on this and just clean up. What do you think, Waddles? Yeah, I got your area weed eated down. Don't knock your top roof down. There's Mr. Waddles. They've got a rat snake comes and visit them. Well, I'll fix that later, guys. What do you think, boy? Mr. Waddles. And then at some point, I got that to deal with. <sighs> That's some good lumber I want. I gotta get that stuff uh, bucked up, get it, get it saw milled up before it goes to waste. All right, guys, just a short one. But you know where I'm at. I got smart and lowered that uh, pop-up shade. There we are. 
here's a bunch of scrap I got to make shells out of or something. I got a ton of this stuff laying around. Ooh, good thing I seen that. Start come off the of T111 again. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Happy trip. Look you all wadded up in my recliner. What's on your head? Another leaf. You are the leaf uh, magnet. She don't want to go out. Pretty cozy. Alright.